And now, your first alert weather. All right, so we've been working on gusty winds today. We're starting to see more clouds now getting into Idaho Falls. The airport's still staying sunny, but you look further to the west and you got some dark clouds off in the desert. That's what's working in tonight. More thunderstorms, more wind with us here, and it's going to be unsettled, especially as we go through the afternoon and evening hours here for the rest of this week with those winds continuing into the teens, and you may get those gustier conditions off of those dying thunderstorm cells. We go to Salmon, 70 degrees there. Winds at the northwest at seven miles an hour. More showers right now still getting into central and western and southern Idaho, and the showers are slowly starting to move in our direction. With 74 right now in Pocatello, 72 in Jackson, 81 in Preston, and 72 right now in Island Park. Here's a look at those showers right now on First Alert Viper radar. Starting to take hold already in just the lower reaches of the Snake River Plain there out in the desert west of Aberdeen and American Falls, and those showers and thunderstorms are moving up the valley as we speak. It's all thanks to an area of low pressure, which right now it's breaking off from the main jet stream. It's working into central and southern California, but we're getting that warm southwesterly component to our air. That's what's keeping our temperatures above average. But also we have the jet stream working against us. We've got one little pulse of wet weather after another, and then a fairly strong system is going to roll in for this weekend. I'm sad to say it looks like it's going to be a rainy Saturday. Let's jump over to Vipercast tonight. We're looking at the winds around 10 to 15. They'll die down a little bit overnight once the thunderstorms clear, but the thunderstorms are going to pick up tomorrow. We're going to get breezy winds out there here for your Friday, uh, Tuesday, and this is going to be the trend all week long. Tuesday here, we're going to see winds about 15 to 20 gusts around 25. So look for gusty winds at times, and we go to Vipercast. You don't see a lot of green on the map here, but uh, don't be fooled by that. We have enough embedded moisture in the atmosphere that we could be running into those scattered thunderstorms tonight and those gusty winds. This is going to continue for tomorrow morning with a partly to mostly cloudy forecast just to get the day started. The sun's going to come out in the afternoon. We do get some daytime heating thunderstorms up there, especially in places like around Clark and Fremont County. And then as we go into Tuesday night, close to Wednesday, we get a little bit of some overnight wet weather trying to come through early Wednesday morning and uh, more of the same here. Pretty much the forecast is going to be on repeat all week long. Temperatures above average, but we do bring in that afternoon thunderstorm threat. Some of those thunderstorms carry into the next day, and then we see temperatures still well above the seasonal norms with those gusty winds. Temperatures tomorrow in Idaho Falls, upper 70s, low 80s, when the normal high is around 71. Highs tomorrow, 81 for Preston, 82 for Malad City, 76 in Lava Hot Springs. Montpelier is hitting 78 tomorrow with highs in Jackson at 72. Upper 70s around St. Anthony, Dubois, all at 77 here. Lower 70s in Island Park and West Yellowstone with highs in the lower 80s for Chalice. Upper 70s for Mackey and Salmon, lower 80s in Arco. And Idaho Falls, a high of 79 tomorrow with 81. Pocatello, 81 in Burley. Check out the eight-day forecast. It's going to be unsettled here for the rest of the week, often on winds. It's not a horrible forecast, but it's just kind of a unsettled, uh, annoying forecast because we have to deal with the wind. We're bringing in the occasional thunderstorm here and there for the next few days. Temperatures really start to warm up on Friday. We have the warm before the storm coming in, and that storm gets in here late Friday through Saturday. That's going to drop us back into the 60s and 70s this weekend. Showers on Saturday, and unlike the Saturday we just had where we got the thunderstorms late in the day and through the uh, late night hours, uh, these showers are looking to plague us most of your Saturday. So it's not going to be the best day to be outside and uh, trying to mow the lawn, that's for certain. Pocatello 84 for the high Wednesday, 83 on Thursday, 90 degrees on Friday, and then here comes the cold front chopping you back into the 60s and 70s this weekend and in through next week. Blackfoot a high of 84 for Wednesday, all the way up to 90 degrees on Friday. Cold front rolls in, you'll drop it back down to mid to lower 70s there for Saturday and Sunday with showers on the move. Rexburg, a high of 79 for Wednesday, 70 on Thursday, upper 60s on Saturday, the mid 60s on Sunday. And we'll see temperatures also in central Idaho warming up by this Friday with a high of 86 by Friday in Salmon. And the winds will continue for the valleys of central Idaho with showers dropping in here for another visit Saturday and Sunday and highs into the 60s by Sunday. Jackson, you're bringing in highs into the 70s here for tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, all the way close to 80 degrees on Friday and dropping it back into the 60s this weekend with rain showers. We'll send it back over to Todd and Carol.